Do you have flat feet or do you have weak glutes or have been told that you have weak glutes? If so, this workout is specially made for you. All you need is a nice sturdy chair and a prop. You can use a tennis ball, a rolling pin, or one of these TheraBand foot rollers. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, I have links on my website, pilates123.com, under virtual pilates. I'm Rebecca Circle of Mindful Movement. I teach a virtual pilates and fitness class every Monday, Mountain Standard Time at 10 a.m. I also offer virtual private and semi-private sessions. So let's get started with our foot massage. Place your roller or your prop under the ball of your foot. Place your hands on the sides of your chair. Sit nice and tall. Roll the prop under the ball of your foot forward and back. And then change to the arch of your foot, repeating that. And then move to the heel and go forward and back along the length of your heel. Good, and change to the other foot. Same thing on this side. So we're massaging the foot to bring blood flow into the area and to bring some stimulation and awareness to those muscles so that they, you know, they're gonna work a little better for us. Okay, and then onto the heel, forward and back. All right, you can put that aside. And then for the 100, we're gonna do a variation of the 100 seated, placing your, your hands again on the chair lifting your back nice and tall, lift your heels, and start to tap your feet on the floor, tapping on the balls of the feet, and then breathe deeply in through your nose for about five counts, four to five counts, and deeply out. Push out all the air in your lungs. Good, and continue this, and see if you can pick up the pace as if you were jogging or running, and keep breathing in through the nose, and out through the nose. I want you to think, inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, pull your abs in and up like you have an internal zipper. Inhale, grow taller, taller, taller. Keep tapping your feet. Exhale, get deeper, deeper, deeper in your abdominals. Good, one more deep breath. And exhale, 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 and rest. Very good. Okay, now the towel exercise. I want you to lift your right toes and let's use the hand to help mimic the action so we have a better brain um, brain to foot connection so your toes are lifted and spread i want you to place them down on the floor and draw an imaginary towel towards your heel and repeat toes spread place them down drag the towel and you just keep doing this action as if you're trying to scrunch up a towel and pull it towards you you'll start to feel muscles in the bottom of your foot start to engage and contract and those are that's what you want to lift your arch if you have flat feet this is a perfect exercise for you okay and relax now let's do the left foot same thing toes up spread wide place them down scrunch up the towel and repeat and you can start to pick up the pace as you get a little more familiar and a little more uh, makes once the action gets a little bit easier for you and and then you can practice doing both feet together for more of a challenge um, after the towel exercise we're going to do the TV series so you can do this also while, while you're sitting watching TV so pull your belly button in and up sit tall press in your hands and lift your right knee up as high as you can hold it and place it down Lift up your left knee as high as you can without rounding your lower back and set it down. So you want to think, the tendency is to do this. You wanna think grow tall, especially when your foot goes down. That's when it's easier to sit a little taller. So you hold two, three, and you place the foot down. Hold two, three, grow taller as the foot goes down. Do one more each leg and relax and we'll finish standing so come behind your chair you'll use it to help your balance to help you stay tall so come to the side of your chair and this is the sidekick series in the pilates methods you're going to bring the leg forward and back and forward and back and i want you to think pelvis doesn't move you're just moving the leg 
forward and back without shifting your hips whatsoever. So maybe you start with a little smaller action if you're new to this exercise. And bring the leg home. Now after you've done front and back, you'll do side to side. About eight to 10 repetitions. And again, you're trying to lift the, the body and keep it lifted. So you're not leaning into the chair. You're trying to get taller and taller. Good, and then bring it home and circle around. So you're going around the perimeter or a little wider than your foot on the floor. And then reverse the circle. Keep lifting your head to the ceiling. Keep growing taller. Keep pulling your belly button in and up. And finish with one more. Good. Same thing, other side. Hold on to your chair and swing the leg forward and back. Point. Flex if you want to add a little extra stretch and extra challenge. Otherwise, just relax your foot. Keep your pelvis absolutely still. Be keenly aware of what your hips and pelvis are doing. It shouldn't be rocking. That's what Pilates is all about, finding that strength and stability. Okay, now bring the leg home and you're gonna take the leg out to the side and together. So this series is super for strengthening your glutes. Sometimes if we have weaker glutes, it changes the way we put weight on our feet. So it's all connected. And all these exercises together are gonna to really help you create that strength and stability you need to walk better. Okay, now we circle. So you should probably by now be feeling some work in your standing leg. That is totally what we want to have happen. That is normal. And then you reverse the circle. Your abs are pulling in and up. Crown of your head is reaching to the ceiling. And rest. And you are done. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below to my channel and comment if you have any comments and share with your friends. Thanks so much.